Welcome back to DBL. No matter the obstacle, runway model Lexi Bader refuses to give up. Just last month, Lexi had her second leg amputation with hopes of stopping her chronic pain. We've been following her amazing story since the beginning. Earlier, Erica spoke with her to get the latest and reveal a very special surprise. Lexi Bader is an expert at hiding her pain behind her smile. After all, she's been doing it for eight years. Photo shoot after photo shoot, she keeps her secret from the world. I lay in bed every single day. I usually cry every single day. Lexi has a rare nerve disease that causes crippling pain in her feet. In 2019, she decides to take aggressive action, choosing to amputate her left leg below the knee. I wasn't sad at all. I was I didn't miss it. I just looked down and I was like, yes, no more pain. But then her disease spreads and the pain returns, forcing her to choose the same fate for her right leg. I'm scared and it's I've been going through like grief. I've been going through anxiety and depression and being scared because I mean as soon as I do this you know everything in my life is going to be completely different. In January of this year doctors amputated her remaining leg. I moved from the bed to the chair today. Realizing that like there's just no feet like I'll never touch sand on my feet again like no one will touch any of my feet again like like there's no feet ever again. Not only is Lexi battling the psychological side of her new reality, she is also fighting extreme pain. I have so much pain and it won't go away. I'll stand up and she'll ask me to put it down, not even all the way down and it just hurts so bad. I'm just been, like not sleeping well. Oh no. It's just been really hard lately. In spite of it all, Lexi keeps her smile and keeps pushing forward, taking one day at a time. You know, it's really hard, but I'm not going to give up because I want to snowboard next season. <laughs> Lexi, welcome back to DBL. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I'm here once again. Uh, you are like light and grace under fire because it's been just a couple of weeks since your surgery. How are you doing today? Um, today I'm actually doing really good. And since my surgery, I've been better than I thought I would be, <laughs> to be honest. You know, this isn't your first time, obviously, experiencing this. How has this surgery been different than your first amputation? You know, I can't hop a lot of places. My back does get really, like, sore sitting in my chair a lot. I do go on my crutches, but my prosthetic side, my left side, isn't used to standing on it as long. So that's been kind of challenging. I've been using my wheelchair a lot. A lot of stuff like going to the bathroom and, you know, just doing things around the house or out in public, getting in a car, in and out of car, that's, you know, that's a lot of stuff that has been different for me. Well, you know, Lexi, we so love having you on because you are so transparent with your testimony. Um, you have been an inspiration to so many people. And every time we speak to you, you come like fully yourself. But I know that there have been hard parts of this process. So overall, what has been the hardest thing for you? I think the hardest, I mean, it started, you know, in the hospital this time, I wasn't allowed any visitors. And out of all of the surgeries that I've had in my life, I've never woken up without my parent there or a friend. And this time was really difficult for me emotionally and physically because I didn't have anyone there for three weeks while I was in the hospital. And it hurts so bad. But yeah, uh, that's what's happening this morning. But hopefully my day will get better. Were there tips or tricks that you used for those weeks that you were in the hospital by yourself that might be of benefit to someone who's in the hospital right now? Well, the one main thing is just definitely having a strong support system, and that could be you know, family, that could be support groups, that could be virtual support groups, that could be talking with others, reaching out, and I know reaching out for help is something that all of us struggle with, but it's definitely something that you need to get through this, not alone. Definitely making friends with the nurses. <laughs> I love the nurses, they're always 
the kind, always do my hair and makeup. And you know, I had a really bad day one time and I was crying and this one nurse came in, she held my hand and she told me that she, you know, she's here for me and that she'll never let go. And I was just crying in pain and she was just holding my hand. You know, I just needed that because if I was all alone and she wasn't there for me like that, then it would just suck. I appreciate you sharing that story because I know that's gonna resonate with so many others. You have officially become a DBL family member. We think so highly of you, we love you, but we aren't the only ones who want to share your story. So um, we do have a little surprise for you. We reached out to our friends at Cherry Creek Fashion, a fabulous magazine that focuses on storytelling with fashion, so it seems very much up your alley, and sharing the lives of inspiring people. And girl, they want to do a full spread on your story and put you on the cover of their summer issue. <laughs> oh, look at my arm with this <laughs> for you. I know the folks at Cherry Creek Fashion, you guys are going to have amazing synergy. I cannot wait to see this photo shoot, girl. Oh, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I'm like blushing. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and girl, Vogue. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Yay, I can't wait to see her on the cover and read her story. Lexi's story is far from over. To follow along on her journey, check out her Instagram, a bader.26. You can also donate to her GoFundMe page. Just search Lexi Bader on GoFundMe.com. What a true warrior she is. We'll be right back.